Hi, it's Silverette again, and I got a request to do a tutorial on Shy Guys Alpine Village set, so I'm going to do that right now. Now, first of all, as always, uh, turn the grid on because it makes building buildings so much easier since you can tell where you need to place different kinds of things. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to cover the basic pieces and the way the set works. And I would recommend getting all of the sets. So there are six Alpine Village sets in total, but I would actually count Shy Guys Catfish Cove um, as a part of the set as well since it actually includes the same roofs but then with a different placement um, the 1H placement and some other odds um, yeah odds and ends that you can actually use with the Shy Guys Alpine Village set now um, some basic things to know about this the village set 1 contains some basic stuff it contains the wooden posts that you might see people using it contains the basic stucco walls some other basic pieces like um, windows and stuff like you can as you can see but so basically the first set is where you get the basic walls it's also good to remember that the first three sets are kind of different than the second three sets for example you might be able to tell that these have different textures um, different stucco textures and also different roof textures so that's something to um, remember so the third um, the fourth the fifth and the sixth set they have the same walls and roof uh, pieces but with different textures and obviously also some other random uh, stuff that you might use for buildings now for this tutorial I always like using the walls in the fourth set because they're slightly better than the walls in the first set in my opinion at least you just have to lay down the base of the building so I'm gonna do that right now just gonna create a very simple shape okay so now if you have that you have to re um, kind of think ahead which kind of roofs you want to go and use for example um, I kind of want my roofs to be uh, somewhere up here so pretty high so it would be a two floor building so I'm actually gonna raise the, the, the walls of this already at this stage I always like to place the sides of the roof of the walls so let's see I think I'm gonna just gonna use these inclined walls a 4H would actually no I'm gonna use a 3H okay I am actually going to add some things to the side now what buildings usually have is some brick things on the sides now there are many sets you can use for this but the third uh, set of the Alpine Village series has these nice little corner stones and I always like using these okay so that looks pretty decent now I think I'm actually going to add the roof already though I'm not entirely sure yeah I'm just gonna mess with the roof now and now something to remember when it comes to the roofs is the fact that the roofs in um, yeah the, the, the second type of roofs they're all in the sixth Alpine Village set and the thing with this is you're gonna have to do it all yourself because as you can see this is just a very simple roof it's just one flat piece with nothing on it but if I open for example the 3H from the second set which has a different texture and different shape um, you can actually see that there's it's it's very different you can see that it kind of goes on like this and it has some wooden planks underneath it so these are easier to use but in some cases the second ones just look better because their textures are slightly better as you can see but in this case I'm gonna be lazy and just use these roofs because they're much easier to use and now I'm gonna add a roof kind of thing to this little part because I just wanna close everything off before I start doing all the extra details like windows and stuff like that also if you wanted to do interiors uh, always do that before you add the roof you can add the walls before you add, do the interiors but if you add a roof already it's gonna be really hard to place anything uh, let's see now there's one floor texture that I really like in this pack and that's actually the floor texture from the fifth set it's this wooden deck one it's very detailed and it looks really nice so I always like using that and now you might think there are no cornices over here which yes it's quite unfortunate there are no cornices in this pack um, so you're gonna have to come up with some other ways to kind of add some cornice kind of effects and um, I've seen people use the wainscot but that's not used for stuff like that so that's realistically speaking it makes no sense 
so for a cornice for buildings like this and this is actually something that I should not do but I'm gonna do it anyway um, Pets Efteling set. I'm gonna put it in the description too, since it's a set that doesn't actually isn't actually supposed to work with the Shy Guys Alpine Village set. But if you if you pay close attention in my videos, you'll see that I often use it in combination with the Alpine sets. And this thing actually has, I think it's somewhere over here. And yeah, the problem is this thing is all in Dutch, so that's not very nice. It's kind of stupid, and I'm sorry for my fellow Dutch men to make a set in Dutch and it should be actually no it's somewhere else in the set as you can see it's a, it's a very chaotic set it's not really there are no thumbnails the names don't really make sense if you don't speak Dutch okay so you're gonna have you, you're gonna want to go into the second part of the uh, into the third part of this set and find this little piece and if you make it brown you can actually use this as a very nice cornice that that kind of goes with Alpine Village as you can see and that looks pretty cool now there is of course a corner piece as well so just get this piece for the corners and that looks pretty neat okay now I'm gonna close that again and open the fifth set which is pretty much the set that has all the random stuff all the random fences and clocks and cool stuff so that's definitely things that you can experiment with for interiors but also little balconies like this and yeah I kinda like this balustrade so often use it and one last thing that I want to do is it's just something that I want to cover just for the sake of covering it is the foundations these houses they often have foundations made out of this kind of stone so what people usually do is they bring it down to 1H or 2H like this and kind of cover the entire building in this so that gives you that nice little stone border that makes these buildings look so awesome sometimes and um, as you can see you can kind of see the bricks sticking out over there but if you add a plug piece like that that's not going to happen also see that I forgot one piece I'm gonna come back on that one later okay uh, did I add a plug over there already okay yeah there we go okay so now we have a nice little foundation for the building as well so that's pretty cool and there's one more thing that you might actually um, add if you're interested in it uh, which is a large bay this is something that's really easy to place and do and can sometimes really make your buildings look great I don't think it will really fit this building but it's just something that to always consider because it's just a great piece but I don't think it really works well with this building so I'm just gonna remove it here might actually use it somewhere else but no I don't really see that happening okay now for doors as you can see the second set has a door in it but it's not that easy to use and you have to actually have an opening in a wall to use it so I always like to use the, the, the door from the third set since you can just place it anywhere and I think that it actually covers yes it actually covers the foundation piece as well so don't have to worry about weird glitches and stuff like that because this door works perfectly the only thing that I need to do is kinda of make this more brown because that just looks better okay there we go now there are windows and basically everything in every single part of this set but the windows in the fourth set are actually my favorite especially when you combine them and I'm just going to talk about these windows for a bit because you can do some tricks with them and people have actually asked me questions about this uh, for example you can combine these to just make a round window like that but what you can also do is actually combine multiple of these to make a larger window so if you have for example a large building you can do that as well and one thing to never forget is these window boxes the third set has window boxes too and I see many people use that but this window box is a lot more detailed and a lot better than the other one so I definitely recommend using this one so I'm just going to add windows like this this is a building with two floors so obviously I'm just going to add two floors of, root, of, of windows to this also I do think this looks a bit boring so I'm gonna remove that okay so that's pretty good so far but it's still the, the building still lacks something and this is a very important point it's the the, the framework but um, like I explained the first set 
has some of the posts that you might use for frameworks, but the fourth set also has framework posts in it, but these are thicker and easier to use if you ask me. So I always like to use these. It's it's easier. If you if you're getting used to them, you can try using the ones from the first set because um, they're somewhat more versatile in some points, but I just like to use these because they're easier. Also, one thing to pay attention to, though, is the fact that these don't exactly have a corner placement, so you have to kind of rotate them to get the right placement and not make them stick through the building like that. Now, if you're ready for some interesting stuff, you might also want to try and place these posts like that. Actually, no, place them like that, because otherwise they're going to be going through shit and one like that and then take this X piece and just kind of connect the two like that that's one really easy way to add simple framework to a building and it doesn't take too much time especially considering the fact that th there's this X piece and it looks pretty cool sometimes now you can still add some windows to the sides here but you might also just want to fill them up with whatever you, you can use side um, placement windows but I think in this case I don't really feel like making any more building uh, windows, so I'm just going to do it like this. It's always hard to find a good window for the top of the building. And one that I usually use is either the round or the arced window from this set. Since it's small, it's good enough, and it just looks like a window that you'd have on top of building. So I'm just going to place it like that. Now this part still looks a bit boring, so I'm going to add some posts to that. And over here as well and also I'm actually going to add a large window here okay now everything is pretty much on the building now but it still looks a bit boring so now I'm gonna add some details to the window so first of all I just want to add window boxes everywhere now one thing to note about these things is they're more common um, among well higher floors than they are on the well base floor so I usually only add these on either the second floor up and um, not really anywhere low like this. Okay, and you have the flowers right here. Now always remember though to change the colors of the flowers to some actual flower colors because otherwise they'll be brown and you don't want that happening. Um, so I'm just gonna place these in all of these things. And last but not least, something that I talked about earlier, this little window top. I always like to add this to pretty much every window that I actually can. Um, so I'm going to add it to that one. I'm not going to add it to the top ones because there is actually that lower wooden post over there. So that wouldn't look too good. You don't want this thing to go through other things and glitch and stuff like that. But this still looks pretty cool. Now the one boring thing right now is actually the roof. Now one thing that I always talk about is at least in private to some... Now one thing that... Um, I always see is many people just leave their roof as it is and this this looks kind of boring so what I always do is at dormers that's pretty much also what I say to people when they want to get feedback on their alpine village houses or any house actually since dormers are something that's really easy to place but it really makes your building look so much better um, a roof without dormers or anything is just going to look boring in any case but something to remember is the fact that the first three sets have different textures than the um, last three sets. So if you use the roof from the first three sets like I did, don't use any of the dormers in, for example, Shy Guys Alpine Village set 4. Use the dormers from either 3, 2 or 1. They all have different dormers. Um, you can, um, well, go out and see for yourself what kind of dormers they have. But the first set has the basic dormer that will fit anywhere. So I'm just going to use this one in this case. Okay. And it doesn't really matter if it's low and kind of um, sunken into the roof like this. It doesn't really matter. It's still fine. Okay. And I'm also going to add some dormers over here too. Now one thing to watch out for with dormers though is don't place too many of them. Uh, no dormers makes your, makes your roof look boring. But too many dormers in a row just doesn't look right either. Now one last thing that I haven't talked about yet is the chimneys. Shy Guys Alpine Village has those really signature chimneys like these. Now one thing that you must note about these is the fact that as you can see they're somewhat high but then again they're also a bit too low. I can't use it to build a chimney over here. 
I can use it to have a chimney sticking out of the roof like that, but I can't use it for anything else. So I, I'm just going to place it over here because I want to have a small chimney over there. But if I really want to have a real chimney that actually goes through a wall and actually does some cool stuff like that, I'm going to have to open the third set and either take the small or the large chimney. It just depends on whatever you want. I think I'm going to use the large one with this one. And then just stack it like that. And then you can add a cap. And there you go. That's a nice chimney for it. Now one thing that I do see is now that it's kind of blocking the dormers so I'm actually going to replace that because you don't want to have chimneys um, in front of dormers that's not really that doesn't really look well good now at this point the building is pretty much finished but one last thing that I want to talk about is the roof collars the Shy Guys Alpine Village set allows for some amazing coloring on the roof and it's also a very common thing among um, Alpine villages so um, some very nice and common colors that really work out well are this shade of green and uh, kind of this shade of red also works out really well. Um, I accidentally just used it on a window, that's not good. Now I'm just going to go with this red color since it's very common and it always works well. If you're in doubt of what color you should use, I, I just say use this color whenever you don't know. Just use this red color because it's amazing. And there you have it, a nice little basic alpine village house that you can use as a backdrop or scenery or something alongside a road. Now this is just very basic stuff, so if you want to build your buildings yourself, I'd, I'd just say go ahead and experiment with all the different pieces in Shy Guys Alpine Village set. Just try and use some different shapes and stuff and just try new things. It's a really awesome set to use, it's one of the most user friendly sets in the game and it's also very versatile you can do many things with it it's called alpine village but it works with many themes so yeah have fun with that and also thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video or at least learned something from it and i'll see you next time